It's nearly a perfect sphere comprised of hot plasma interwoven with magnetic fields. It accounts for 99% of the total mass of our entire solar system. It's nearly 93 million miles away and is the source of all life on Earth. And it keeps us grounded with gravitas. So what better resource to harness for our energy and give new meaning to the term star, star power. power. But it's today's science and technology students that are the real stars. Luke as in Luke Skywalker. Like the members of the Sunhawk Solar Racing Club at SUNY New Pulse. It's a challenge to make the most efficient vehicle. There's a, um, there's a hole behind that. Oh, yeah, yeah. By paying attention to the details, it trickles down into research for automotive today. Because this one's only have a 3.2 voltage. We would have engineering students, science students, we'd have business students, we have art students, you know, because the car's going to look good. I think they're 1%, but you know, you never know. I mean, 25 will be more than enough. I think we only need like 10 watts or something like that. This is a big project for a small school to take on. It's the groundbreaking work of college students like these okay. working in conjunction with other schools. We had to start from the ground up. BOCES does all of our fabrication basically mechanically. Once you have the part, you know, they're tight. We don't have welders in school, so we weld here kind of helps bring up their level of maturity because you know, now they're working with a college kid, it's not hanging out with their friend. In the past, we had a company do that for us, but having students do that makes it more rewarding for us. They give us a tremendous amount of support. And forming partnerships with innovators of alternative energy resources. The Department of Energy stepped in. Linked them all together and laminated them. With the help of Maurice Hinchy and TSEC. Hudson Valley based. Solar Energy Consortium. One piece of our mission is to do outreach and education. We're a resource for them to get involved with businesses that may be a piece in their supply puzzle because you can't just put the cell on the car, it's so brittle. Without money, without funding, we wouldn't go anywhere. We have to put a voltmeter on and a test to make sure they're all yeah. up to snuff. We work on this car year round, during school, after school during the summer. It's even in my dreams, so it, I can't get away from it. It'll make any difference. It'll be 12, 14 hours to be there working on that car. We're making the car more efficient, lighter, stronger, faster. There's no instruction manual for this. This is an electric vehicle charged by the sun, so it's pure, clean energy from start to finish. When I'm home at night, I'm still scribbling on this pad. I kind of get to sleep, but I'm still thinking about that crazy car. After the shell is done, you work on the chassis. You order all of the mechanical and electrical components and you kind of put them all together. Presto, you have a car. <laughs> all the electricity flowing from each cell flow into the battery. We have to balance all of that. It's like a, a ballet, I guess, with electrons. Julian, who, he's my electrical engineer, who also puts on many hats. He does electrical, computer, mechanical. And unfortunately, I'm the only one electrical right now in the car. So I'm kind of just running around like, doing everything that has electricity around. Yeah. What is it, 5 squared, 25 times? And so half ohm ended up giving you about a five, five hour? Uh, that's really time consuming. <laughs> Being in the classroom doesn't compare to this experience. And for the third year, the hope of the New Paul Solar Club is to make it all the way to the American Solar Challenge. We should be good to go right now. The guys never tested a current sensor like this before? Right, right. The current sensors passed before. Right, that's correct. Two years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And he just wanted to double check them. After months of designing and building, the New Paul Solar Racing Team and all of their competitors met at the Monticello Motor Club for the start of the 2012 race season with the Formula Sun Grand Prix. Radio check one. A three day track race in which competitors face heat from technical colleges from all across the nation. This track race qualifies us for the American Solar Challenge, cross country race from Rochester to Minnesota. That's eight states in eight days with only four hours a day to charge their batteries with some juice from our closest star. Not stopping at a gas station except for maybe to pick up a candy bar, but we're not, we're not filling up. That's 1,600 miles without a drop of gas. You get a trophy. <laughs> And it's all about the bragging rights for the most intelligent design. Definitely an underdog. We're a, we're a David and Goliath story. I got three one on my feet men. Most of the teams are huge schools. On the hill at the bottom, no more than... Uh, Some schools have been going there for more than 10 years and don't qualify. Schools that everybody hears of. And then nobody hears of Newport. Newport. Sit down. 
Our car is relatively cheap compared to a lot of the other schools that we compete with. The University of Michigan, $2 million budget. That's our competition. That's why David and Goliath right there. How do you compete with that? We are like only five students doing this car. Some schools have 30 students or more. If you ever went to go play these people in basketball or football, you'd get crushed. We're the underdog. And we could beat them with a solar car team and really surprise some people. MIT, big budget, but you know, they're not out of our reach. But before you can race, you have to qualify for the qualifier. We have a, a few things that we got to get approved by the judges now. All vehicles have to undergo scrutineering, a series of inspections proving it's roadworthy and can complete a minimum distance over a given day. They'll test all your electrical systems, for 10 miles. all your mechanical systems, make sure the brakes work well, make sure you have lights. Left hand turn. They want to make sure that your car doesn't get on fire in the first the first lap, you know. But if you have people that aren't doing anything down here, they can go up and get your vehicles moved to the other side. Throughout the day, we're charging it via the sun. Charging will be in the field beyond that, all right? Non-stop, all day, trying to beat big schools. That way. And if everything goes well, we can go to the track. Keep quiet. Where is the horn located? It's actually hidden behind something, right? Yeah. Because we pulled the ballast up front. We'll get it done. We'll, by okay. the time we finish BPS, it'll be done. Okay, great. And uh, get the light working, too. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sure, why not? That's no good. Uh, well, almost flipped. That's not good. They didn't get the nut tight enough. Oh, we're definitely going. That's, that's never been a question. <laughs> well, we got to pick it back up. We got to take a look at that. Yeah, I'm, I would push the car in the truck if I had to. 